Hi, welcome back to Burning River Bushcraft. This is day five of our 99 mile wilderness waterway canoe trip through the Florida Everglades. If you haven't seen uh, the first four days, go ahead and check it out. I'll put a link in the description below to the playlist. But today we're gonna be going down through to the Broad River. Uh, that's our last stop before the nightmare. And today's paddle should be quite a bit better. We are not looking at going through as many bays today. Uh, we have 14 miles total and from the maps there is no stopping point so we just left a little bit ago it's probably less than about 7 15 and it's, it's gonna be all day so much like the lostman 5 the willy willy campsite is covered with rats there was mangrove rats all over the place uh, we could hear just a little bit of them running but nothing like lostman 5 but if you're doing this trip, make sure you're prepared for rats, make sure all your food is secured. I don't know if they caused any damage, but you know, I don't know of anybody that wants swamp rats or mangrove rats running around their campsite all night long. We exited the bay that we camped at and we're on the Rocky Creek and it's pretty nice. So another thing about Willy Willy campsite when we got there, there was a sign on the outhouse, which is unusable, by the way. They, they don't do a great job of maintaining the outhouse. But there was a sign on there, uh, dangerous alligator encounters in the area. And we met the dangerous alligator who was uh, being accused of all this harm. And he was a pretty bold little alligator, like maybe a five, six footer. And he would come right up to the dock. He was around the whole time. I'll put some still photos in. But he did not act like any of the gators we've seen. He came in open mouth, almost like waiting to be fed or something. This is what Rocky Creek is looking like. Just smooth glass water. If this is the kind of thing you like, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, leave me a comment in the comment box and ring the bell to be notified of my latest videos. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Burning River Bushcraft. I teach outdoor classes as well at OutdoorCore.com. But I can do that shit at work. So the Rocky Creek has emptied out into kind of a, a portion of Lostman's Bay. This is kind of where we were yesterday, the big bay. But this is just a just the side shoot of it. A channel, a giant channel, I guess. And it's flat as glass. So I can't see much because we're heading dead into the sun, but this is Rogers Bay. And we're not uh, we're not doing a whole lot of this, we're just skirting the outside edge. Here's what Rogers Bay looks like, a lot like all the others. So the weather conditions on Rogers River Bay are better and we're not just barreling right through the middle of it. And this is the beginning of our day, not the end of our day. But all those factors are making this for Pretty, pretty good paddle. Hugging the coast or hugging the shoreline here. There's an inlet. There's a cove. And straight ahead, I don't know if you can see that. There's a point, that's our target mark. So we just got into the very start of the Broad River. And we just had to just paddled right into the wind, right into the sun, and it kind of got rough a little bit. The camera was getting some, some water on it, but this is gonna wind around a little bit and take us into Broad River Bay. That's what it looks like. Looks like a big old river to me. There's a view of those dark clouds. So up ahead here is Broad River Bay. The clouds are staying dark, and the dark clouds are the direction we're going, but 
think the wind's going to keep it away from us. Here's a look at the bay. Broad River Bay is behind us and we're in the Broad River now. And we have about an hour, maybe a little less, so I would assume around three miles on the Broad River before we get to our campsite. So we found the Broad River campsite and we've almost been in the boat for five hours. Just about five minutes shy. We have a current and we have a tailwind actually. So we've been kind of lollygagging the last little bit on the Broad River. But we made real good time up into that. The Broad River campsite has a ramp to it. There's the bathroom. I see a picnic table or a bench. The Broad River campsite is actually very nice. The dock is kind of a pain. That ramp that you saw that we were coming up to was kind of a kind of a jakey thing to get up. Uh, plenty of shade. This is one of the few uh, campsites that you could use a hammock. Neither of us brought a hammock just to save space and because we didn't know what we were getting into. I know the mangroves don't hold a hammock up that well. So when we left, we did 14 miles. It was four and a half hours or whatever the heck it ended up being. We did not see a boat. We had the entire place to ourselves. Now we just left guys. Okay, so we left two power boats and a canoe. They were not going the same way we were. So we traveled 14 miles in the national park with nobody else. We had the whole thing to ourselves, no matter which way we looked. As we were making, uh, as we were unloading our boats, getting ready to make camp, we had a boat come in from the beach side. So this is coming in from the Gulf, opposite of what we did. and. Like most of the people down here, first thing they did was offer something, so they gave us Coca-Cola. They gave us four Cokes and a bag of ice, and nothing tasted as good as that ice cold Coke. Uh, you can send me all the money for uh, representation, Coca-Cola that you choose to, that'd be great. I'll take a full sponsorship. But we got two more saved back and put back for dinner. He's gonna get it. So night five on the Broad River campsite has been entertaining for sure. Here's our here's our camp buddy down here. So the sun's setting. We've got water on to boil for our meal. We've got a couple ice cold Coca Colas from a passing by uh, boater, and it's all good here. Uh, so tomorrow is the big day. If you haven't seen any of this uh, series, go ahead and. Uh, click on the link below for the 99 mile wilderness waterway. The mosquitoes are starting to come in right now. Uh, Till next time, this has been Jamie Boggs with Burning River Bushcraft. See you soon. Mm -hmm.